And just like that, we're back in New York. The Big Apple. Yeah, the dragon's back in New York City. All right. Stay tuned, everybody. <clears throat> the apex predator on wrist. Hey God, what's up everybody? I'm your host Richard Prophet, The Last Dragon. Uh, yeah, so we're, we are actually at work. We're still at work here in New York City, but uh, I got a few minutes before my guys come out. So I figured I shoot a quick video. Um, first off, uh, we're in town because we got a few projects to catch up on, right? Uh, but basically we're in town because of all the events all the events that are going on in New York City uh, this weekend. Uh, well, starting they were starting on Thursday and they're flowing through this weekend. So for those of you that don't know, the CP the Rolex CPO program starts May first. So to kick off that event, uh, everybody everybody and their mother are having uh, Rolex events to announce uh, the kickoff. Uh, of the uh, CPO program. Uh, before we get started, what's on the wrist? The apex predator, of course. The apex predator of the watch game. Uh, recently discontinued, which makes this beauty even more rare. And shout out to my guy for these. You know who you are. He's just got back from uh, uh, Nassau in the Bahamas. And uh, he knows that this is my favorite. So he brought us back a ton of these. And uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, shout out to you for those number twos. Shout out to you. All right. So back to this video. Um, yeah. So the CPO, Rolex CPO program launches May 1st, 2024 in the year of the dragon. For those that are unfamiliar with the term CPO, what that means is Rolex's official certified pre-owned program. So now you can officially get a certified pre-owned watch through Rolex uh, with a two-year, you know, inspected and serviced by Rolex for Rolex straight to you. Uh, yeah, it also comes with a two-year warranty on your watch from Rolex International Warranty, which is actually, I believe that's what Rolex watches had a few years back, maybe in 2015 it changed. It was either three year or two year be before it became the current uh, five year. Uh, for anybody that's familiar with it, uh, please leave it in the comment below. But it was, it, it was definitely either two year or three year. Um, so yeah, so now, with every pre-owned watch that you get from Rolex, pre-owned Rolex that you get from Rolex, from the CPO program, you are also going to get that benefit of the international warranty. And, you know, inspected by Rolex, serviced by Rolex. So uh, you are guaranteed not to get a Frankenstein piece because these are genuine Rolex uh, parts and and watchmakers servicing, repairing and replacing your watch. So yeah, and it's the Rolex uh, guarantee, man. Uh, you can't go wrong. Now, are they gonna be priced higher than gray market dealers? That's yet to be seen. My guess my presumption is probably yes they'll probably uh be more expensive either slightly more expensive or 
a lot more expensive. But hey, you know, um, myself for one, uh, uh, myself for one, I don't mind paying a little more when I know that I'm receiving quality uh, for my money or just a guarantee uh, for my money. You can't, I don't, you know, I'd like to save money here and there, sure. But the risk factor of, you know, getting these watches, you don't know who you're getting. And all these, you know, some of these secondhand dealers, they, they you know, they say, oh, you got to know your dealer. You got to trust your dealer. Trust. I don't even know you. How, what are you talking about trust? So that they really throw me off when they start that crap. Um, so, you know, you put your trust, right? When you build a relationship with a brand name and over time you can build the trust and you know, Hey, if you're going to trust somebody, trust Rolex, you know, for your Rolex watch. Uh, that's all I'm saying. So if I have to pay a little more, uh, to get a Rolex, if I was in a used market, um, I would most likely be going CP CPO. And another great benefit about the Rolex CPO program, I think is this. So another great benefit of the Rolex CPO program, in my opinion, is this. Let's say you have a watch, right? You have a Rolex and there is maybe a more expensive piece that you're looking at or that you know you have your collection and there's another piece that just came out or that might have been out and you might have missed the run of it and you always wanted to get it but you know you missed it and then it was discontinued <clears throat> uh you will be able to trade in your piece right your piece and maybe trade up to the baby that you wishing you were had you know that got discontinued but you must own one you must possess one so yeah i for me for me personally that would probably be um a route that that i might look at if it came to that like suppose there was like a super expensive piece that you wanted to get, but it was like, oh man, you know, um, you might trade in a couple of pieces to get uh, that, you know, a particular piece that you in love with and you must have, but you don't wanna, you know, you don't wanna spend all the money for that piece while you already have, you know, over, you know, whatever it is you have already tied up in your watch box. You know what I'm saying? I mean, these are just options. And one of my questions for the Rolex CPO program is this. Um, are they going to, like, like where's, wh what are going to be the price? Like, are they going to charge, like, let's say you trade in a watch, right, that's selling maybe, you know, let's just, for, for instance, to make the number simple. Uh, let's say you trade in a watch that's selling, you know, $5,000 over retail, right? Uh, let's take for instance, in, uh, for instance, uh, the Rolex Batgirl, Batman on a Jubilee bracelet, uh, the newer model. That one is selling for from, I forget what I paid for. I don't know, eight, nine grand. Call it 10 grand. Uh, call it 10 grand, right? So that watch now sells for on the secondhand market. I don't know what. 17, 18, 19,000 dollars. So, you know, so you're talking about what eight, nine thousand dollars over retail. So, my question, my only question for the Rolex CPO program is, is are they going to be selling their CPO Rolex watches at market value, you know, or, 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 or are they going to value it at Rolex's valuation? Let's say you know, uh, steel landlord watch is worth $10,000 and slightly used might be worth, you know, $8,000. Are they going to evaluate it like that? Or are they going to say, okay, the market value 
for a steel landlord watch, AKA steel submariner, black dial, black bezel, uh, uh, you know, the market value, uh, you know, on, on the uh, aftermarket side might be 14 grand. Are they gonna sell it for 14 grand? You see what I'm saying? So that will probably be my only question for the Rolex CPO program. Yeah, man, but other than that, to me, the Rolex CPO program, oh, sounds great. Hey, you never know. Somebody might trade in their Rolex rainbow and, uh, you know, depend it on price. Who knows? Who knows whether, you know, is it, gonna be what the market demands where the rolex is gonna price their pieces um or you know because rolex watches a lot of them like as we know sure watch prices have come down somewhat but you know we've all seen times all of us in the collector's space have seen uh times in the not so distant past where watches are double what they are retail but Rolex is still selling them a retail. You see what I'm saying? So I wonder, my only question is how the pricing is gonna work on that. Yeah, you know what? I, I'm pretty excited actually. So anyway, there's a lot of events going on that started yesterday uh, here in New York City. I'm back in the city for work obviously, but also I'm attending all the events. I was, uh, I've been invited to a bunch of events all weekend. So I, we was at, we were at one yesterday. Um, there's one later on this evening tonight. I don't know if I'm going to make that. I still got to, I'm going to take my wife shopping, uh, after work. Um, cause we're going out tomorrow night. So going to take the grandkids uh out um and there is a big one for my boucheron torno boucheron uh boucheron I, i'm sorry uh if i mispronounced it boucherary i you know uh somebody correct me on that but yeah there's a big one on sunday which uh which i just rsvp'd for i didn't even see the email until i be honest with you uh, earlier, earlier today, I saw. I just see that they had sent it to me on Wednesday or Tuesday, but I just see it, saw it earlier today. I RSVP'd for it, and uh, from Boucheron actually, and uh, they said, "Sure, uh, we look forward to seeing you." And I was like, "Great!" So I'll be going to that. There's one tonight that I might be going to. There's another one tomorrow, I believe. But that one I'm not going to be going to because, like I said, we're going to be with the grandkids. But uh, the one Sunday, I am definitely uh, looking forward to going to. Uh, yeah, and these are all... They they might they might bring out some of the new watches that were just launched, the new Rolex watches at uh, Watches and Wonders, but uh, it's mainly for the launch of the CPO program. The Rolex CPO program, for those that don't know, again, starts on May 1st. So it's just in a few days. <sighs> yeah, so I'm looking forward to seeing that. And I'm looking forward to seeing some of my uh, collector buddies at the uh, CPO launch. I know some uh, guys are gonna be there. Like I, yesterday, I saw a bunch of friends Yep, and uh, actually it was nice. They had uh, drinks, they had finger food, and uh, afterward, uh, me and a few of the collectors uh, went out. Uh, and my buddy, the super collector, and his son, uh, uh, we went out and had a nice meal, which was great, uh, and some fine wine. So yeah, that was great, had a good time. Shout out to you guys. Uh, and some great conversation too, great conversation. Uh, his son is an amazing young man that's got a good head on his shoulders and uh, he's going to go far and always enjoy hanging out with them. So anyway, that's the video. Rolex CPO program launches May 1st. Keep your eyes open. Check it out. The Dragon is definitely looking forward to seeing it just to see, you know, how it's going to roll out. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. And for a lot of people that may have, you know, like I said, 
wanted a discontinued watch and really don't trust the gray market or some of these shady. I'm not even gonna say that all of these gray market dealers are shady. Uh, some, you know, probably are, are, are cool. Like, uh, you know, I, I don't really have any experience, but some, you know, seem all right. My experience just been with Rolex ADs. And uh, so the CPO program is the Rolex AD. So in my opinion, uh, you can't go wrong. I'm your host, Richard Prophet, the last dragon, eight god, apex predator on wrist. And uh, yeah, we're going to all these Rolex events, baby. If you're a Rolex collector and you see me at an event, come over, say hi. We'll do the watch polls and we'll take a picture and uh, I'll post it, man. And I love to say hi to the community. All right, I'm your host, Richard Prophet, and I'm out. Cheers, family.